Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beard. So today we're watching Avatar. So today we're jumping back into Avatar The Last Airbender for season one, episode 11 The Great Divide. Mm. Let's get right into it. Let's do it. Cut in a two. Oh my gosh! What's going on in there? Are you forgetting the tarp? Right, got it. Sock <laughs> on top of the you know, so we don't get <laughs> Bruh. What if it does rain? What if it doesn't? Then I would have put the tarp up for nothing. Uh, you're infuriating! I can Tom, see that. Why don't you worry about gathering the firewood? <laughs> Fine by me! If you're not gonna do your job! <sighs> Okay, wow. I get the grub if you guys got the... Hey, where's the campfire? Oh. And what happened to the tent? <laughs> Miss Know-It-All. Why don't you just switch jobs? Sounds good. Whatever. You see that? Settling feuds and making peace. All in a day's work for the Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Bruh. You got another feud to settle. Oh! Can oh. split it. Ooh. A melon. Come on, Momo, that's fair. Appa's got five stomachs. <gasps> hey, if you're looking for the oh, canyon shit. guide, I was here first. Ooh, canyon guide. You? Sounds informative. <laughs> that's He's hilarious. more than a tour guide. He's an earthbender. And the you're a refugee. Huh. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> here he comes. Is that your tribe? It most certainly is not. Oh shit! So, the Zhang tribe, a bunch oh. of low-life thieves. Where are the rest of the Ganjin? Still tidying up their campsite? What a blade! Yes, but they sent me ahead of them to hold a spot. I didn't know the, the animal for reservations. So unorganized and ill-prepared for a journey. <laughs> wow, hey. some real insults you're throwing there. Right. <laughs> mm. Oh, the Earthbenders here. Sharp the guide. To wait, youngsters. Wait, oh shit. I heard, there they are. Oh shit. It looks so pristine. You're not seriously gonna cave into these spoiled ganjins. We've got old people who are weary from traveling. Authority <laughs> <laughs> over old people. That's a lie. You Zhangs wouldn't have so many sick people if you weren't such slobs. Wow. If you Ganjins weren't so clean, maybe you wouldn't live to be so old. Wow. <laughs> that, that wasn't good. That wasn't a very good insult. Everyone, listen up. And only one of them lives for a hundred years. A, I knew she was gonna say that. If you give him a chance, I'm sure he can come up with a compromise that will bring... make everyone happy. Compromise. <laughs> Does that seem fair? Yep. Job, he's a problem. You need solve it. <laughs> Sorry, Appa. You'll have to do this on your own. And this feuding tribe stuff is serious business. To tell the truth, I'm not sure. Nobody but knows. when have I ever been? He's, <laughs> he's only twelve, 12 years old. His, job. wow. his job's gonna make us cross this whole thing on foot, isn't it? No fool! This is ridiculous! Oh. What do you eat? Babies can go a day without food. Would you rather be hungry or dead? Now we're heading down in ten minutes. All food better be in your gut. Yeah, oh, my goodness! Where were you hiding that? Food? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> He's got turkey leg. Until we get there. <laughs> See you on the other side, buddy. Oh shit. Okay, that's why they need. Nice yeah. Jobs much more than bending, kid. Many of you are probably wondering how canyons are formed. Experts tell us this canyon was most likely carved into the ground by Earth spirits. <gasps> uh oh. Earthquake. Wow. That guess the spirits are still angry. That felt targeted, man. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, it was right above them. Nowhere else. Nowhere, exactly. Okay. Everyone stand clear of the wall. 
Stand clear of the closing door. Why'd you do that? Yeah. These people are fleeing the Fire Nation, aren't they? Oh, so they can't follow them. They can't be followed. Uh, oh! oh! Ooh. Oh shit! Nice oh, shot, shit. Sokka. He's coming off the Sokka. <laughs> you gotta help me. What is that alligator insect, bro? Gotta tie up his legs. Or wow! Canyon crawlers. And there's sure to be more. Ugh. Your arms, they're broken. Without my arms, I got no bending. In other words, damn it. I thought the whole point of ditching our food was so we wouldn't have to deal with things like canyon crawlers. It's the Shangs. They took food down here even after the guide told them not to. I love that. Voices. Is the only way to I'm not walking another step with the likes of them. No, Brother, there's then. something we can agree on. Any ideas? Gladly. Enough. I thought I could help you guys get along, but I guess that's not going to happen. We should split up. Ganjin's on this side. Saga, Here's the avatar. The Shangs, and Katara, you go with the Ganjins. See if you can find out why they hate each other so much. So you guys aren't gonna put up your tarps? What for? It's the dry season. Exactly. <laughs> we like to use the tarp as a blanket. Bruh. Maybe someone gets it. <laughs> That's hilarious. This is exactly what you said. You really think it'll rain? No, but you can never be too careful, right? Her and her brother. Wow, so it's the differences between them. Exactly. Wow. They'll better understand each other through other people. That's incredible. Why you do the things you do. Huh? Oh, he hit food! <laughs> you bastard! They all hit food, babe! Care for some bread, Katara? Why should my people go hungry Let's when see. the sneaky Zhangs are stuffing their faces? They're starving, well, I'm pretty sure. I guess it's okay if everyone's doing it. Mm. That's how some parties start. You're a follower, not a leader. So... The patriarch of our tribe, Jin Wei, was an earthbender warrior who was assigned an important duty. Transporting our sacred orb from the great eastern gate, taking the orb from the east to the west, represents the sun's rising and setting. It was our tribe's ancient redemption ritual. Jin Wei was attacked by one of the Zhang, a vermin named Wei Jin, who looked at the orb with envy. That coward Wei Jin knocked Jin Wei to the ground. You can never trust a Zhang. <laughs> That's all. Care for some meat? Would I? I know what you must be thinking. We're horrible for endangering everybody by bringing food down here. Uh huh. The Ganjin mm -hmm. is so bad. Mouthful. Our conflict with the Ganjin goes back over a hundred years. Let's well, hear your go. story. It was a man of the Ganjin tribe, Jin Wei, collapsed on the ground. Noble Wei Jin stopped to help him. Jin Wei was transporting a sacred orb, but Jin Wei insisted the orb was more important and asked him to take it back to his tribe. Kind Wei Jin promised to send help for the man as soon as he could. He was arrested. Shit. What happened? Instead of thanking him for his kind and selfless deed, they sentenced him to 20 long years. In wow. That's crazy. We'll be out of here Better keep an eye on these people. And uh, then we can eat our weight in lychee nuts. <laughs> nah, I'll wait for the lychee nuts. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to share it. Being impartial. The Zhangs really wronged the Ganjins. They ambushed Jin Wei and stole the sacred orb. What are you talking about? Wei Jin heard. didn't steal the orb. He was returning it to their village gate and was wrongfully punished by the Ganjin. Let's get everyone together at the base of the canyon wall. Love that thing. Why? Please, everyone. You pompous fool. Oh my gosh. 
harsh words won't solve problems. Action I... will. Perhaps the Avatar is right. Harsh words will never solve our problems. Oh, action will. Oh, oh no. Shit. Ang. Ang, ang, ang. You gotta blow them apart. You know, I, I take it back. Harsh words aren't so bad. <laughs> Blow them apart. Is that food? Everyone smuggled food down here? Not this. Ah! Now you are the food. That's a lot of canyon crawlers. That's a lot of crawlers. I just wanted to get out of here alive. Me too. I only took their side because they fed me. <laughs> my oh weight on man's hearts in the belly. Oh shit. Now what? Oh! Oh shit. Oh wow. You guys are hungry. You know who's another ponytail? Woo! Oh, she got that water whip on lock. Oh shit! Oh man, and nasty with the air bend. Everybody, watch me and do what I do. Oh wow! Wow, teamwork. Makes the dream work. And he got to keep it. We're riding out of this hole. Oh, genius, bro. We're riding The carrot and the stick. Holy right. shit. Everyone, get off. We made it. Sorry, I oh. <laughs> they came I back for me. Soon. They wanted a taste. Of course. Great. Now they're all headed back. And I never knew Yu Zhang's was so reliable in a pinch. <laughs> We're not so different after all. <sighs> Too bad we can't rewrite history. <gasps> Wait a second. Jin Wei? Wei Jin? Wei Jin. I know guy. those guys. Yes, yes. We're all aware of the story. No. I mean, I, I really them. knew them. I was wow. 100 years ago on the day you're talking about. Wow! There used to be a lot of confusion about what happened. First of all, they were brothers. Oh shit! Oh shit! And there were eight. And most importantly, they were just playing the game. And the eastern and western gates were the goalposts. Jinwei had the ball and was running. They were the playing freaking soccer. Wei Jin didn't steal the ball, so the official put him in the penalty box. Not for twenty long years, but for two short minutes. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay. Broken telephone! Broken telephone. Just a game. You're saying the sacred orb was actually a sacred ball? As soon as someone got the ball from one goal to the other, <laughs> everyone would yell, Redemption! Oh my god. <laughs> they were eight years old, babe. How much is true? Redemption! <laughs> Did each other's differences enough to share the same playing field? Ooh. Wow. Bars. I cannot thank you enough, Avatar. Well, you know, I try. Oh. <laughs> to the kingdom capital as one tribe. Or you could call it lying. What? <gasps> I made the whole thing up. Nah, no. bro. That is so wrong. But the game was called Redemption. I'm starving. That's crazy. That was great. That was great. He made it all up, babe. That was great. That was great. What a great lesson that you, like, I feel like the show is almost educational. Okay, yeah. So I, I want to see the Ganjin leader's voice. Rene Aubergeoina. Hmm. No idea. But yeah, that's it. He plays like 
I don't think it's the Transformers, but well, like okay. his voice is. I know I recognize his voice from from some other thing. Ugh, I'm sure somebody will write it in the comments. But man, this uh this episode was crazy because like. I was really wondering how Anne was going to bring them together because of their differences. And then it was a great, it was a great simile that it was Sokka and Katara. It was a great simile for Sokka and Katara situations. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Them being kind of of one tribe, kind of, but having their own differences. And then Aang brought it all together. But the thing is, me, I really, like, because the thing is, the way stories get told is like, you know, like, um, like something happens in the, something happens in the park. It's like, Oh, this this kid hit a home run or threw the ball like fifty yards. You know what I'm saying? By the time it gets back home, it's like he threw it 150 yards over a goalpost and left the stadium. You know what I'm saying? So like, just the fact that there was a century for the story's legend to build up, and like the people who were actually participants in the story are decades from being alive to tell the story. So it was crazy that it got all the way there. But the fact that he made it up, ah, oh, it would have been a great story it if he was been. actually real too. Yeah. But that was it was great how like their differences were so fickle. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it was just the what you told yourself that made the world around you so much more devastating and dangerous. And just changed by a change of perspective, the sun came out for both of those tribes. You know what I'm saying? Nice. They're going back as one tribe there, and that story is just gonna be another legend to go with, you know what I'm saying? On the day they reunited. Wow, Ang, what an amazing job he did, man. Another great episode of The Last Airbender, and we can't wait to get on to the next one. So, yeah. Thank you all for joining us for the latest episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and before you like the video. Let us know what you thought about the episode down in the comments, and be sure to go over to our Patreon to check out the full-length uncut reaction, or stop by simply to support our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Dre. For Beauty and the Beard, we're signing off until the next one. Peace.